we are here today in the lovely Dipness kitchen. She has so kindly offered us an amazing opportunity. She's gonna teach us how to make a lean turkey keema and gonna show us the differences of what you can add in and take out so it's not as high fat. Low yeah, but it's still packed full of flavor just without all the oil and the grease. You know, so we wanna, we're all missing going down the local curry house on a Friday night or getting those um, takeaways in to fit within our um, body goals for the kickstart in January. So this is perfect for all of us. So in terms of like oils to use, you can use a rapeseed oil or you can use um, a coconut oil to make it healthier. So that's really up to you. So I've got some coconut oil here. This is 100% pure coconut oil. So if we just get that into the pan, first of all, to start with. Coconut oil is in. Can I ask a question about the yeah, oil? Yeah. So does it make a difference with, because obviously we're going to cook the onions now, is that going to make a difference, like how the onions are cooked by using this, this rapeseed oil or coconut oil instead of full fat oil? The coconut oil, no. It's not in terms of flavour, is it going to make a difference? Yeah. Um, so of course, because you're not putting so much oil in, you can say, oh, the flavour or the texture might be a little bit different. The only difference really is here, just time. So you need to spend about five, six more minutes on your onions okay. because you're using less oil. Um, in terms of flavour, you're not going to get a drastic difference. Trey, can you just get the cumin seeds out there? So by putting in that extra time, yeah. you're going to get a better result, Yeah, right? exactly. So our coconut oil is um, nice and hot, and we're going to go in with some cumin seeds. Again, like in terms of, if you don't, you know, I get this question all the time, you don't like cumin, that's fine, you don't have to add the cumin seeds. Yeah, Tyra doesn't like cumin seeds. Mm, no. Yeah, you don't have to add them. You, you can add them, so that they're optional. Okay, so you can adapt the recipe Yeah, you to can adapt taste. them. You know, there's one thing about my kind of cooking is there's not one set way of making a particular curry. You just experiment. If you don't like something, a lot of people say, oh, I don't like coriander, all right, then don't put it in. But yeah, you need some spice add, to add some of the flavor. So cumin seeds are now sizzling and talking to you. We're gonna go in with our onion. So let's go in. And the recipe for this, everyone's already been given. So on all of our pages. Amazing. Now this is what takes the longest, cooking your onions out. So this takes like a good, you know, seven or eight minutes. You don't have much oil in there. But the secret here is instead of adding more butter or oil, just add water. Oh, okay. Keep adding water. Don't add any more fat. Just water. Yes, it takes a bit more time. But with the more time, you yeah. get better results, right? Yeah, exactly. So let's give this about, let's say about five, six minutes. It's on a medium heat at the moment. Right, so our onions are as caramelized as we want them. And I purposely put the cumin seeds in because I know Tara doesn't like them, but you won't even be able to tell. So actually on the recipe, there's no cumin seeds, but you can add them as an optional if you like. We're gonna go with cumin powder later um, as well. So whilst that's been happening, we had a little herbal life break. <laughs> We had to have a tea break. Yeah. But there's one question. While you're in this flow, doing yeah. what you are amazing at, please can you tell me, um, because I know that you, you're, so, you're so busy, we haven't had a chance to catch up with how you lost 11 pounds, since you lost 11 pounds, doing two back to back 10 day challenges with us. But what I want to know, because maybe you can help my other clients, is what did you do different yeah. from before you started Purple Life to before you were using the product. What, what, what did you change so, in your daily routine? I'm not really a breakfast person, so for me having these breakfast shakes was like a treat. Um, in terms of like doing anything different, I was just, I was trying to like walk more. I love walking, so I was walking more, but I didn't really have to drastically change my lifestyle because I'm so busy. What I was doing is um, having the Herbalife tea, which I absolutely love, my favorite product, and having it twice a day. So, come on. That burning energy yeah. tea. <laughs> you burn 75 calories a cup here, guys. And the shake flavors are like the best ever. So you was a breakfast skipper, right? Yeah, I wasn't having breakfast, and then obviously when I started the 10 day challenge, I suddenly had to have a shake, which I actually loved and didn't ever want to miss. Um, but in terms of like how my lifestyle changed, I didn't really make any drastic changes because my busy lifestyle was still my busy lifestyle. So in the plan that I gave you, yeah. was well, basically breaking your day up to be small and often. Yeah, small and often, but like I said, if I was at work and really couldn't fit a meal in, then I would just have a tea. 
So like, I didn't really have to drastically change my lifestyle. Did it? Yeah. I'm gonna be honest now, because I'm your sister in I know you love to eat chocolate. <laughs> yeah, and the herbalized chocolates. Oh yeah, I did used to eat the herbalized chocolate snack bar. Yeah, 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 I did. And yeah, that's it, that one. So yeah, that's so you started oh, your day. I did make a little bit of a change, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so you started your day off the herbalized way. Instead of having normal chocolate bars, you had a herbalized chocolate Yeah, bar. I had a herbalized chocolate bar. And then, like I said, I love the tea. And oh, you know, the other thing that I did, which is kept, I love hot water. So throughout my day, it, I'm not really a water person, but if it's hot water, I drink it like it's tea anyway. It sounds... I've always got water. The more you drink, yeah. the more you but shake, is it, right? But is it okay to have hot water? Just yeah, it's water. absolutely fine. It's fine. And, so, you would, and you would often put um, aloe vera in it, right? Yeah, aloe vera just to add a little bit of flavour. And that, that stuff is good, right? It's amazing. It's really good for your stomach, any digestive problems you have, your skin, your hair, your nails, um, any bloating that you suffer from. Um, Consuming this first, um, first one, consuming this first thing in the morning is an amazing way to kickstart your okay. system to help help you get those amazing results. Okay. So also, again, cinnamon. Oops, I didn't add this with the oil, but you can add it in now. So there's no there's no like right or wrong way of doing this. I've gone in with the ginger garlic paste. That's just ginger and garlic in equal amounts. Um, it's a little coffee grinder made into a paste. And then I've gone in with some green chilli as well. Sorry, I should have asked if you like it really spicy or what, but I just kept it medium. You know, I love a bit of spice. Yeah. Like so Cherry, now I need the turmeric. So if you give me the turmeric, I'll add the turmeric powder. This is just for a bit of colour, great digestive properties as well in turmeric. A lot of our Indian spices have like medicinal values and properties. So red chilli next. So we've added the green, we're adding the red just to kind of balance the flavour. The green is the one that you get on the tip of your tongue and the red comes later on. A cumin powder, this one here. Um, so if you didn't add cumin seeds, you can add the cumin powder mm. instead. Mm -hmm. But Tara's not gonna even be able to tell that we've added that. A coriander powder, there we go. So you, these key spices go in now. We're also gonna add some salt for flavor here. If anyone's like me, they're going to be stop, 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 stop. <laughs> yeah. to do it so again, myself. like salt, just you can adjust according to your taste. If you're taking it easy on salt, then you don't need to add, you know. So I generally salt. don't like a lot of salt, but do you like salt? I like to add a bit to each meal. A healthy balanced meal is like it's okay to have salt. So also, I filled this water up. Um, like twice now because the onions obviously when you're cooking them soaked up so much of the water i'm just adding a bit more now so it's gone all mushy now it's really yeah nice. so adding a little bit more water and now the second crucial step after the onions is letting this tomato cook until it kind of splits and that will mean that the oil that we have put in will kind of sizzle out the edges so mm -hmm. let's let that cook for about five minutes and keep checking it and adding water as we need to and then we'll come back to it so I'm leaving here. What do you mean when you say wait for it to split? That. Oh so it's got little holes in it? Yeah. And that's okay. exactly what you want and then. So I've always chucked one in before. You go in with your lean mean technically technically you can use you know chicken mince as well. Just like breast chicken so you can add any protein to this really yeah i mean even if you're if you wanted like a masala chicken then your chicken pieces would go in at this stage um instead so just what i'm doing is just we're gonna absolutely love these mm -hmm. <laughs> coating my mince in my masala now again it's up to you if you like your curry a bit more kind of saucy you can add more tomatoes to this but i add you know, 200 grams of tomato to that portion, and then use my water trick again, just to kind of steam cook the mince in my masala. Smells delicious. Okay. And then once that's almost semi-cooked, like 80% cooked, we then add our finishing touches. So we can have one right now. Chocolate? Lovely. <laughs> Herbal life chocolate. Yeah. As you can see, the turkey mince has cooked so we added water and it's also let off a little bit of water of its own so the water comes so the mince and you can see there's no of course we didn't put any fat in but just the coconut oil but there's no fat lean mean turkey keema peas have gone in you can add really any veg that you want to add at this stage like mushrooms 
chuck a few mushrooms in, sweet corn, sweet corn or um, black peppers, whatever you want to add. Finishing touches in this dish now, so garam masala and fenugreek, so Cherry, if you give me the garam masala, mm -hmm. this a little help, huh? special mm -hmm. garam masala goes in, just to add all that goodness. This has got 15 different spices in, so when you're cooking Indian curry, you need to understand, all right, if you put butter or oil into anything, it's going to add that flavour, fine, but actually the spices are going to add much, much more, so the secret is using the Indian spices to your advantage. So when you go down the curry houses, the, the butters and everything that they're putting in that makes it so high in calories, isn't it? Yeah, and you know why chefs actually add a lot of butter and oil? Because it makes your curry cook like 10 minutes faster. Quicker. They're a bit lazy, okay? So you don't want to be lazy. So garam masala's gone in, and then I love this stuff. Fresh chopped coriander to add a nice kind of zesty, lemony, fresh flavour. So garam masala and Coriander always goes in at the end, so it retains all that flavor. In fact, coriander is one of the herbs that loses its flavor the quickest. So what you want to do is retain all that flavor by putting it right, putting it in right at the end. And then lastly, we just need some fenugreek. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take some fenugreek. This is dried fenugreek, please. Gives a really nice, like, thyme-like flavor to your curry. So understanding all these little secrets is so so important i mean i i remember um when i first started doing the 10 day challenge i was like am i going to be able to eat things like this you know um can i still eat my favorite things and with the 10 day challenge i just found that i was able to do what i wanted in moderation and with the diet plan that you gave me that was so helpful instead of eating like two big meals i was having like five meals a I day but small quantities. I think a lot of people think herbal life is just shakes, it's just meal places and no food. How many times a day? Yeah, How many I, times a day you actually eat them? Yeah, like that was that was my preconception but now like five I can eat five times a day smaller portions but it just makes me feel like I'm more full now yeah. all the time. So that's I, I think it's amazing. It's you have more energy and you burn more fat when you break your meals out exactly. throughout the day. You know what I really liked as well? You're part of a group and weirdly, that motivates you to, like, oh, I'm going to be the winner tomorrow. I want to be a little bit low on my weight. It's be competitive. Little... Guys. Yeah, it's competitive, but it's fun because, you know, you also get those pictures of what everyone's having for yeah. lunch. I'm, I'm having this one. And I know I was a bit bad because I didn't used to post so much in the group because I was so busy. Um, but Being I just used to. Into... You didn't even buy but... some milk. <laughs> How bad is that? Well, you could have just gone to my Instagram and had a cake. <laughs> um, but right, what I'm going to do now is the final touch. So, Trey, pass me a little clean spoon. Mm -hmm. um, taste your food. Key, key, key. Always taste your food for seasoning. If you need to adjust, this is time to do it. So, you guys. Oh, we get to taste them. Okay, let's go. Mmm. So good. See, I don't think that needs anything else. Like even salt, I wouldn't put any more salt yeah. in. I think that's perfect. That is amazing. Delicious. Right, you know what? That's actually done. All the water's dried up. You still have great flavours in there. You can taste all the spices. It's got a little bit of a kick at the end. And that's exactly what you want to look. So, quick question. Yeah. When we looked at the recipe for this, it's 160 calories if you split it into four portions. Okay? Yeah, yeah. So, you can add rice to this. So it's going to be around what 300. You can have it with rice, yeah. Have it with rice. Yes. You can have it with rice. So 160. That's going to be around 360 calories if yeah. you have like 125 grams. Yeah. Of rice Cherry likes to put it in a wrap, so you can put it in a wrap. Whole meal wrap. Turkey kima burrito. So that's another idea. You know what? Let's serve it up. So I've got some salad and some rice. So guys, that is the finished product. And I've served it with some kachumba salad, some nice coriander on top, some plain rice, but you can serve it with whatever you like. There's just one thing left for us to do. Please say eat it. Yep. Dig in, have a lifestyle.